Okay. Hello, guys. This is K8YIO. We're in Columbus, Ohio. What you see in the background there is my 40 meter ground mounted vertical. I'm going to give a small amount of details today on its construction. I used various boom pieces and elements and such to uh, come up with the whole 33 feet and plus or minus a few inches what I got. So uh, we started out with like a Moonraker 4 boom and then went on up and it became smaller and smaller to the top. Right there, that second piece of tape is where I started the measurement up and down. You see I had to make it a little longer. So that was about six or eight inches longer. On the ground, galvanized steel pipe you see is ten feet long. We left about two and a half feet out of the ground. Um, we are direct coax fed and the radial system is 16 and 16 radials they're uh, 16 and a half feet long this is a 40 meter ground mounted vertical this is a temporary mount I'll make it a little neater this is my ugly antenna right now as you can see I just have the shield tied in right there which is strapped to the, the the galvanized steel pipe and that's connected with this wire back here it goes down to the ground radials and it's strapped on with a uh, hose clamp uh, it's direct fed coax 50 ohm and right here underneath of this I have the feed point and it was 50 ohms right there at 7227 I'm always on 7200 so that was close enough for me to call it government work for amateur radio and um, I'm able to work the entire 40 meter band without a tuner and it's a 1.1 at highest and a 1.0 lowest doesn't really move too much Seems to work okay. Everybody gives me good reports. The coax, like I said, is 50 ohm. And it goes off over that way towards the, the shack. So that's the, the, the feed line. I've heard a million people say, feed it with ladder line. Well, I don't know how I'd get ladder line from there to there without, you know, touching something. Anyway, that's the 40 meter ground mounted vertical. I've also heard many, many arguments about the radial system. A lot of arguments that you should take that and it should have two elements per per band, band um, going at 90 degrees from each other. So you got two for 40, two for 20, two for 15, two for whatever, so on and so on. This antenna works great. It's really thin, about a half an inch at the top, and it waves around in the wind like a fishing reel. But the SWR never changes and it's held up to our 60 mile an hour recent wind and it was pretty bad and uh, we always have wind here in Ohio. So, that's my 40 meter ground mounted vertical, guys. I usually hang out on 7200 at 7.200 megahertz in the AM hours, Eastern Ohio time. So give a listen if you hear us. Give us a call. Any details you might want on the antenna, let us know. And uh, that's K8YIO at Yahoo.com. I hope this video is brighter than the first one, and any comments or questions would be uh, Nice to see if anybody's got anything to say or any comments, particularly the ones that tell you that you have to have a radio out there at this many feet for that band, this many feet for this band, and all that. You're just trying to get your efficiency off the ground. Sixteen and a half feet might not be the greatest, but it seems to work, and I have a flat match. So uh, that's without a tuner. Incidentally, the antenna happens to be a 1.3 maybe a 1.2 depending on where you're at on 15 meter without a tuner don't play too much 15 meter but uh, I'll have to see how it works since the SWR says it's good on the antenna analyzer K8YO at yahoo.com we hang out on 7.200 megahertz in the morning if you hear us give us a call make any comments you like on the video and we'd appreciate it and again I hope this video is brighter this is my ugly K8YO 40 meter ground mounted vertical